time of ancient gods, warlords, and kings, a land in turmoil cried out for a hero. She was Xena, a mighty princess forged in the heat of battle. The power, the passion, the danger, her courage will change the world. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Spaces Arcade and another Spaces Experience. Looking at the new tables that Zen uh, is releasing this week. And Xena, Warrior Princess, is one of them. So we're going to play that guys. Let's get a bit of a, a feel for the game. Playing on the virtual pinball cabinet. away on this particular view the table is a little bit smaller than the last couple that we played. I could probably switch views and get a slightly closer view. Let's leave it as it is. We might uh, switch it up on the second because it, it does look a little bit, a little bit small. The table is sort of dark and a night sort of theme, and I must admit, I'm, I'm always the one banging on about how nice it is when it's in the dark. Uh, as I've mentioned on a couple of my other Spaces Experience videos, this sort of darkness is just supplemented beautifully when you have the DOF links going. And we'll wait until they get uh, the DOF links crew get a file out to do all the toys and triggers for this game. And yeah, with all the lights flashing and stuff, it's going to really add to the atmosphere. Nice moving ramps up the top, circular infinity ramps, and we've got this other little um, core thing going across the middle there, and you can shoot in that. Whoops. Uh, you can shoot through that, I think for both a skill shot, and then I'm not sure if you, you, you do use it for other parts as well. You'll also notice on this table that there are a lot of inserts, uh, little slots there where we can have characters come, have characters come up, um, or stand up characters to shoot. Oh, great. Hold on, over Take him below. Yeah. Take me a below. I'll always be with you, Gabrielle. That wasn't great. Too much talking, but not enough playing. Right, let's get, let's get in here, but let's just change the view. Let the games begin. All right, guys, so we've got a different view now. And I must admit, the flippers are a little bit close to me, but definitely tables much bigger now. And I'm sort of cutting a little bit of the left hand side so I must admit it's one thing that Zen still isn't focused in on is the view angles on cabinet mode and I don't know why it's taken this long um, but if you cycle through the views in cabinet mode you know you have some of them that move which are, which are no good it's like they don't have the nice little subtle control you can do the manual move they can't you know, maybe I shouldn't be doing that but the base view should be a lot better. That's all I'm saying. Anyone who tries to stop me is going to come. Okay, back into it. Are you trying to kill yourself? Let's get to the game, Greg. Wow. Wow. Yeah, what is it with you and holes, huh? Wake up. Obviously the sort of old medieval theme, similar to other 
tables of the era with the music and the sort of look and the style. All done very, very nicely. Um, so if you like this sort of medieval theme and superhero from back in the day, of course when Xena was on, uh, like on the TV, um, it was a bit of a classic show. I didn't really watch it, but I was very aware of the show. And if you get onto YouTube and have a have a look uh, at some of the old episodes. Um, it's sort of it's quite funny. <laughs> uh, she does a great job of being this, you know, serious and um, superhero. It was much loved, uh, but they have all these sound effects uh, over everything, all her movements. Um, you know, she'll move her hair to be. <laughs> It's quite funny. Well, back in the day, you wouldn't even notice that. But... Okay. So one thing I am notice, noticing with this, other than me sort of just talking and not really focusing, is there's sort of a lot going on to the point where I'm not focusing on where I need to be going next. I mean, if we look at all the flashing lights at the moment, we've got quite a few options. The third flipper up there is pretty interesting. Um, it seems to have limited use. It's quite tight up there. You ready for? Okay, we've got a table multiple. <coughs> following the call outs per se and admittedly I do have them down a tad in volume because some of the tables are just a bit obnoxious um, so it could probably do with coming up a little bit here again mentioned to Zen before having per table volume control it's just so needed guys so needed you know, in and out adjusting between times. Oh, hang on, I have another game. Have I already had three games? I think I have, but I've just been terrible. Let me focus. Wake up. Shoot through the chalk. Yeah, so that's the, is it the chalk ramp? Not chalk ramp, chalk ramp. Get the skill shot. I've got to actually shoot up through that thing. Missed it, but oh, I do like that. Nice little challenge. For that skill shot. The loop there. Just flip it here and put it back up into the bumpers. Hey, I just saved your life. Saved. Man. Hold on, look at that. It's got me though. Taking below. Outside outline. A few times down. The game's game. You lost. One little loss in the cage. Oh, not liking those airlines, guys. So, I've got a full save, though, so complain too much. Not like Wrath of the Elder Gods. That lane should be destroyed in that game. So yeah, I can do that. I, mean, oh, I can get in that little scoop there too. Three more Temple Run visits. Is it a little grindy to get Moe's going, guys? That's my question. I've, you know, I've been hacking around a bit. Saved it. So 
solid pinball though. Look at that. Of things I've got to get a couple more things. All locked. Can't get that one out, guys. Oh, that right out lane. But as I said, I was getting some kickback, so. Oh, shoot. I missed that. Miss the ring. Let's get the treasure and get out of here before it comes. Yeah, I really feel like I haven't got some of the cool modes started. Gift of Gods, increase the cave jackpot. Put the little thing back, get through it. Satisfying trying. One more, two balls left in the cave, guys. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. Rips. Rips. The ball bounced off the back of the flipper, guys, on the way in. Just trust my luck. Always happens, guys. Oh, I do these spaces experiences. I get a mode started, but I will lose the ball. But that looked cool. Five more places to visit. So yeah guys, I'm hoping that this table is in a bit of a grind fest to really enjoy it. I think sometimes Zen just put in just too many repeat shots before something starts. Guys, okay, we're, we're, we're out. I think we'll leave it there with this one. This, I think, um, I'll need to give it more time. Ancient gods, warlords, I like the table. I like how it looks. Very, very nice artwork. It's very good theme for their olden day type style. The power, the passion. And I think there's some cool little modes to unlock there. I have seen some other graphics and stuff that I have we didn't see in this this game. So yeah, guys, look if you like that sort of style of game and want something a little bit more, maybe it's got more depth than some of the other tables. We didn't see a lot of the other pop-ups either, so I think I probably didn't show it in its best light. Um, but yeah, if you like that sort of thing, grab this table. One that I will come back to. I don't know if it'll be my favourite or not. But it's solid, solid for me. All right, guys, that wraps up Xena out of the five tables released this week. We're going to look at the last two coming up with the next videos. Stick around. Hope to see you in the next one to see the second to last table for five. Um, until then, ciao for now.